Good day fellow investors, this will be a very interesting video especially for Alacer Gold investors because it will explain in the first place why I bought Alacer back in May 2018 and why I sold recently. So it will give you a good perspective, the company from an investment perspective has changed, it was a margin of safety value investment and now it's more of a growth exploration story. So I'll give you why I sold, why I bought in the first place and then my view on the company. I sold but I think it's still a good investment. It's just different from what I like to buy which is safety value and then let the upside to whatever happens. Let's start with the discussion. So I bought Alatzer Gold for Canadian dollars 225 in May I didn't buy more in September, which now I see was a mistake, but I was happy with the position that I bought then in relation to my portfolio and research process that I'm still building the portfolio. However, now the company is up 70% from when I bought it and we are at what? 3.9, 3.7 to 3.9 Canadian dollars, 2.8 US dollars. So the positive upside leads me to taking a look, okay, what, why did I buy it? Are those catalysts still in place? Is that value still in place? Or there is something different? Now, as I said, Alacer is still a good company, has potential, but I am confident that with what I do, I will find better risk reward investment opportunities. Perhaps not in the gold sector because I have analyzed more than 70 gold miners uh, in the fall of last year and only Two, Alacer was one and the other gave me a good business investment. I don't want to bet on gold prices. I have better investments to protect me from inflation or whatever might happen in the future. So why did I buy Alacer Gold? Well, they were investing a lot of money, 700 million in the sulf sul sulfide project. They had almost 1 million ounces of gold stockpiled at a high grade, more than three grams per ton. So stockpiled investments of 700 million, just a 350 million uh, note on that. And the market cap was 400 uh, million, $450 million. So we had 1 million ounces of gold lying there stockpiled already. So not to be explored, not risk, no ri little risk with uh, ore grade or ore hardness. So you don't get an Eldorado or a Guyana gold surprise because it was there. So there is always operating risk, but little risk. The sulfide project was a complex one. So therefore this might be a reason why I didn't buy more in September. But if happened well, I analyzed the present value of the company would be closer to 3.74 US dollars. Things could go wrong. I have gave a 15% chance for that and th things could go wrong in Turkey, again a 15% and my fair value came to 2.7. Compared to the price back then of 1. Point, what it was, 1.8, it seemed like a bargain. My sum of parts value was uh, $3 for Coppler, the Sulfid project, estimating the value from the estimated cash flows from the technical report, then the explorations of Kakma Tepe or however, 0.15 cents I added on value. I didn't even add Aldrich as it wasn't so important then, but it adds also value now. I will add later, change my model and add value there. The project Gedik Tepe, 40 cents per share, which was a $3.54 in value. The stock price was 1.8 when I did the analysis. However, I added a 70% probability, okay, we will reach the fair value, which is still a possibility, even higher now than back then. 15% gold prices go down, operating issues as Coppler, etc. $1.5 value and 15% really terrible situation in Turkey, low gold prices and we go to zero. My value average of this was 2.7 and we are close now to that value as the stock is trading there. Now what changed? Well, the CEO said the following at the last conference call. So it was a transformational year, completion of the sulfid plant construction and production startup. So they expect that they now have an asset base that they believe can sustain production of 300 to 400,000 ounces of gold per year. This is really an incredible transformation, but from 300 to 400 is a big jump 
And as I know, management, especially in gold mining sector, they're always promising, promising. So I'm a little, little bit wary of this 400,000 ounces. So let me see the facts. I like to invest in certainty, like the stockpiles there were and the investment in the sulfate plant. I don't like to invest in exploration promises. And that's why that's one reason why I sold. When I look deeper into the 400,000 ounces, the first problem is the grade. The stockpiled grade, the certainty, is at 3.2 grams per ton of gold. However, the reserves for the future production, the average of all the reserves is 2.47. So now they are mining, they are using 3.2 golds in the sulfide plant but later it will go to 1.5 which means much much lower cash flows and that's also projected in their technical report with much lower cash flows after three four years of sulfide production just a funny note a few years i've been following alacer there was usually only one analyst on the conference calls and uh, nobody really bothered for a turkish miner now that the stock is up 70%, now there are suddenly five analysts and the stock is hot. That's how Wall Street works. Nobody wants to invest in the business. They all want to invest in hot stocks that go up. Okay, be careful with that when it comes to gold miners. Then the second thing is the Ardich expansion that they are found uh, some new mineral mineralized zones and they announced the 300k ounces of resources. So they will add that. If they find something in the mineralized target, that might add another 600k of ounces, but they are still waiting for permits and we don't know what is there. So I am not going to invest in exploration. I want certainty. So that's a reason why I sold. But if they find the same that did find in the resource pit shell, they might really add 100k, 200k ounces per year as that is oxide ore and they can use and they can change the previous oxide plant. In any case, if things don't work out that great, I don't see much more that 100,000 ounces added for a few years. So I have added those cash flows to my model and my fair value for the miner goes from 3.5 to $4 per share. Let's give it a 15% risk of $2 in case of whatever might happen, 15% of very low gold prices at one. And the fair value, it gets to 3.15. The price when I sold was 2.91. So not much really value investing, margin of safety. And that's why I sold. However, this does not mean that Alatzer is now a bad investment. There are still a few catalysts that might push the stock price higher. If they, in 2019, pay 50 million in dividends, that would be a yield of about 5%. If the market rewards that and gives a 3% yield, there you have an upside of what, 50, 70%. If Ardich shows good mineralization, good reports as the latest drills were really, really good. And if that continues, then you really might have a 300, 400K miner, uh, ounce miner with their margins, with their low cost production, 200 million of free cash flows per year times 10, that's a 2 billion company. So that's still a 100% upside. Of course, if gold prices go up, that, that's the third catalyst that might really push this higher and higher. However, exploration, gold prices, it's not what I invested, which was margin of safety of the investment of the cash, 100 million on uh, the balance sheet, with a market cap of 400 million plus the stockpile. So just a different perspective. I'm just a different investor. I like to invest in the businesses. I like to find value. Plus just a note, they don't own everything. So they own just 80% of the mining district. They are finding these things and just 50% of what is here in the red circles and uh, depending where the mineralization goes, we will see if they get 80% of 100% depending on the area. So conclusion, I think that the value investing money has been made with Alatzer. So now it is more about exploration, growth potential, gold prices, which is something that I think I can focus on businesses, focus on value investment. I sleep better at this price. Eh, I'm happy to sometimes just take the money, 
be happier with the bird in the hand than two birds in the bush. So thank you for watching, looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.